In this video, I'll be demonstrating how I throw my garlic keepers, including a great and easy way to throw lids for small cover jars such as this one. To get started, I'll be centering one and a half pounds of clay on the wheel to form the main body of the pot. Once I have this centered, I'll go ahead and open it up and widen out the base. For my garlic keepers, I like my wet measurement to be about four and a half inches wide to four and a half to five inches tall. I'm using a cone 6 stoneware clay from a local Michigan supplier. Many people are surprised to learn that the refrigerator is actually the worst place to store garlic as it encourages mold growth and can ruin the flavor and texture of garlic. Garlic likes to be dark, dry, and also have a little bit of air circulation to keep it fresh. So using a pot like this will extend the life of garlic for months. Once I have the base established, I go ahead and start to pull the walls up. I leave a little excess at the top of each pole so I have plenty of clay left to make the lid gallery. Now I'm going to check the height. It's a little short, so I'm going to make a couple more pulls to get it up to the correct height. Now I'll verify the height again. This looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the water out of the base of the pot. And then I'm going to use the right angle of a plastic rib to form the lid gallery. And to do that, I'm dividing the lip of the pot about in half pressing down with the rib and supporting the pot wall with my opposite hand. Now as you can see that distorts the lip of the pot a little bit so I have to go back and clean that up. And now I'll check the measurement using a caliper. It's a little too small, so I'm going to widen it out just a little bit. That looks about right. I'm just going to clean up that lip using a chamois. and then cut it from the wheel head. Now I'll start throwing the lid to the pot. I'm using just a little over a half a pound of clay to create the lid. Go ahead and center that. And then once it's centered, I'm going to make a small opening in the center of the clay to form the lid's knob. Once I get that to the right height, I'm going to go ahead and close off the top. by pressing the clay inward 
and now it's completely sealed. Now because the air is trapped inside, I can go ahead and shape the knob further. I like a fat knob on these small jars. It gives me a lot of room to decorate. Now I'm going in with a wooden tool to refine the inside. Just a nice decorative touch. Now I'm going to start to pull out the flange of the lid. The nice thing about this technique is you can make the knob as big or small, tall or short as you would like. I'm going to check the width there. Looks like it needs to come out just a little bit farther, so I'm going to pull my flange out just a little wider. Now I'll clean up the edge using my chamois. and get all the excess water out using my sponge. Once this is dried to leather hard, I'll just invert the lid on top of the other pot and do some slight trimming to the bottom and I'll be all set. Here's the completed lid. Thank you for watching.